Greetings, YouTube. You know, one of my favorite things about this community, among many positive things, is that so many summoners work tirelessly when a new uh, event quest, a new difficulty comes out to try to get the best champs to uh, make the contest easier. And they're not always just, hey, use your 565 Blade or use your 565 Stark Spidey or Medusa or Archangel, you know, Ghost, etc. No, uh, we have seen a combination of very unique champs to help with the new limited edition, the Champion Clash. And most of the videos that I have seen out on YouTube so far focus on a champion that personally I hate, but I love that he's getting some love and some usage out of, and that's Punisher 2099, because it's a champion that, for the most part, since we already have a Punisher, I feel like if you took him out of the game, most people wouldn't even notice. But the 10 second stun duration for Punisher 2099 works, and for those of you who figured this out, Congratulations. But we have another champion that, for the life of me, I can't figure out why so many people hate her. I see them pull her as a six star and curse at the screen. I see them pull her as a five star and pull their hair out. And it's Thor Jane Foster. Last year in December, we actually had a crystal called the Champion's Choice Crystal, where we got to choose the best champion from each class to go in the $1 four star crystal, which was awesome. And then they did a uh, analysis, Kabam did, of the champions that were chosen least from each class. And the Mystic class, Thor Jane Foster, was the least popular Mystic champion. Now, I don't know if that's an indictment on Thor Jane Foster as much as it is just a credit to how great of champs there are in the Mystic class. But Thor Jane Foster, thanks to, and I don't know if it's Zachren or Akron, if, if, uh, if the X is X-A-K-R-E-N. He sent over this video of Thor Jane Foster doing some work with the double, or excuse me, triple Fiona Shrek she-Hulk synergy. So we are going to play this video now, and we are going to see you do some solid work on this champion because we know that magic can be very tough, not just without limbo damage, right? This is a 4,500, four, rank four, four-star Thor Jane Foster, not even a rank five. Most champs that are most summoners, I would say, have a, a four-star Thor Jane Foster at this point. So you will see, starts off the fight, very similar to most other fights. And we have uh, just building that combo, trying to get to the special one. If you haven't played with Thor Jane Foster before, it's all about that special one, because once you build those shock damage uh, charges, you have a duration to stun the opponent. So the shock charges are doing their work, and now all of a sudden, she's got the stun going. And you just want to keep hitting and hoping that the special one combined with the shock charges keeps it going. And if you get to that 10 second meter, boom, dead. Thor Jane Foster for the win, thanks to the triple She-Hulk synergy. Now, is this a team that you can beat the whole quest with? Probably not. But the point is, we have data that tells us that there's another champion, an underutilized champion that a lot of people have, even as a four star that can go and can get that 10 second duration to take down the opponent. And I wanna to say to Kabam, this seems to be a node that only is intended to help the player. And, and so for that, they deserve credit. I am always pro player. You know that if you've watched my channel, I appreciate when Kabam puts in nodes like Life Transfer that are pro player that help the player out more than the opponent so that more people can beat hard content and with good skill and patience get very great rewards and we know that the rewards for this monthly's event have been buffed finally as good as it fully formed tier 2 alpha and a five star basic crystal and even a good chunk of tier 5 basic fragments so there you have it thanks again mr x a k r e n axren zachren something's in either way thank you sir and i hope you've enjoyed this video and that this helps you take on the new limited edition limited time challenge